you're here. Thank you for coming. Thanks for coming to be here with us. We love it every time you're here on the show. It's always a thrill. Thank you for having me. It's, I'm, so, I'm loving you're this. You're loving this. Is it? Uh, it's heavy. It, it's heavy. It feels and looks like a pipe. Yeah. From underneath your sink. Maybe. And is that the new thing? Should we all be doing that? I'm, I, it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Kim, much to talk about. I want to talk to you about this. You are, I hope you don't mind me talking, you are, I think it's public, I think we're out there. You are currently single, happily single. Yes. Yes, currently single. Now, I sympathise in many ways. I cannot begin to imagine how Kim Kardashian looks for a partner. How do you I find... It's not like you're going to bump into someone in Ralph's, you know? How do you do it? Do you, do you get set up by friends? Do you go on a dating app? How, yeah. does, how does Kim K get a date? I haven't really thought about it because mm -hmm. I just, yep. I'm not looking. I just want to chill for a minute. I think I need some time to myself and yeah. to focus, finish school, all that. But I think my next route will, I feel like I have to do something, like go to different places. Clearly it's not working, whatever I'm doing. Right. So I feel, I don't know, maybe like a hospital and meet a doctor. Right. <laughs> A, uh, a, a law firm. I think it's going to be like scientist, neuroscientist, biochemist, right. doctor, attorney. That's right. Maybe what I envision. In I the like future. where your mind's at here. So if we in ever see like paparazzi shots of like Kim Kardashian spotted at NASA, we'll be like, ah, <laughs> she's yes. back out at. It. She's out back out at it. She yes. is. Now, Kim, obviously, Edward Enifor is, is waiting to come on the show, lady. You have been on the cover of countless magazines. Uh, American Vogue become a leader in the fashion world. What do you remember when, when you think back to your first ever sort of high-stakes photo shoot, your first ever, like, yeah. big one? What, what do you think about? Oh, my God, OK. So I went to... I was... I went to my first ever Met Ball, and I'm sitting at the table, and uh, Givenchy dressed me, and Ricardo Tichy, the designer, said, oh, my God, I have this idea. You're eight months pregnant. Let's do a shoot with this Carl Lagerfeld. This was when we first met. Yes. Yes, yes. I remember this. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Um, and so I went to Paris, and I was so excited, and I told all my friends, and they were like, oh, my God, you're shooting with Carl Lagerfeld. R rumor has it, the big myth is that he'll give you a bag on set if it's, like, your first photo shoot with him. So I was so excited. I was, like, dreaming about what bag he's going to give me. It was, like, so exciting just to be in his presence. Mm -hmm. So, go to the set, I'm there on time, I'm so pregnant. He comes uh, a few hours later, then in walks, none other than Kris Jenner. <laughs> Decked in head-to-toe vintage Chanel. Of course she is. Like, next level. The boots, <laughs> the gloves, every accessory she could find. Earrings, headband, hat, glasses. glasses. Fanny pack, bag, backpack. Like, <laughs> you would, it was like the craziest Chanel scene I've ever like witnessed. So he falls in love with her. Doesn't hardly even acknowledge that I've been like, you know, sitting there. It's all about Kris Jenner. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh my God, cute, okay, like let's shoot, you know? And <laughs> so at the end of the shoot they're talking the whole time every story you can imagine at the end of the shoot i'm like so excited dying waiting for my bag texting all my friends like oh my god the shoot's almost done i wonder what bag i'm gonna get so he comes out and he pulls out this lego clutch it was like this really popular bag that he did that looked like a big lego and it was a crystal one and i'd never seen a crystal one it was a one-of-a-kind, just a runway piece that didn't even go into production. It was black and white, black crystals. And I'm literally like, this is the moment. Like, he's going to give me the bag. And he literally is like, says the whole story. I'm, I have this present for you. It's been so amazing getting to know you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, and he goes over me and hands it to my mom. Of course he does. <laughs> and of course I, he does. I, I went into the bathroom started hysterically crying. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like pregnant, hormonal, flew all the way to Paris for this. I call my cousin Cece and I'm like, this bitch <laughs> took <laughs> my <laughs> bag. And I was gonna give it to my daughter. I was pregnant with my daughter North and I had this whole plan that this was gonna be the bag and it was gonna be displayed in her room. So my mom has a provision in her will that North Stop. gets the bag. Stop. God forbid no. she passes away. Wow. Yeah.
Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. That bitch. That bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Now, I want to talk to you about your law degree. How far into you? You're halfway through? I'm you're halfway, halfway down? How is I it I wrote been? an essay on the way here. No, you didn't. I did oh, on my stop. computer in the back seat. I got driven, and I'm like, I have an essay. It's, it's a test due. So you're halfway done with it. How have you found doing it? Has it been harder than you thought it yeah. had been? What's it been like being back in that environment? It's, it's definitely really challenging time-wise, because they're just with kids, and I have a lot going on, but... I value the experience so much better now because I'm like right now I'm I'm currently studying like evidence and real property. So if I'm doing contracts on purchasing and selling leases and tenancies, it's like I know that because that's what I live now. If I was in college, I would never have purchased a home. Like I, I just wouldn't have been there to understand what it means now. Yeah. So I value the information so much more now and, and I grasp the concept so easy What now. is the end goal of it? The end goal is, you know, I hope that I can help um, support cases that I really believe in for people that either can't fund their own cases or really need the guidance. And then I hope to start a firm that hires formerly incarcerated people to, to help work in the firm. You should be applauded for the work you're doing for I really do. Let's talk about the Kardashians, congrats on season two. Season one was the biggest debut in Hulu's history. Um, like, what do you think is the world's fascination with your family? Does it ever surprise you quite how interested the public are? That, that surprised me. I mean, because we're like, oh, my God, we hope people tune in. We hope people still care after 20 years, you know? Yeah. Um, so the fact that they tuned in, I really think season two, everyone is going to be, I think, really surprised at how vulnerable we are and how open we are. And I love that usually promos are supposed to show a lot and get people excited. And our promos for season two are all right. But, you know, we're, we're holding a lot back because I just we want people to just go in um, and, and just check it out. And I think that... It's so good. It's just so good. Let's say